Hi, Joe from Tunis Tech here, and today I want to go over how you can connect an Xbox Series X controller to your Chromebook. The best way to do this is by pairing the controller to your Chromebook via Bluetooth, and the process for doing this is fairly simple. Start by turning the controller on, then put the controller into pairing mode. You can do this by pressing the sync button that you can find here in between the two triggers right above the USB-C port. Hold the sync button down for a few seconds and let go of it as soon as you see the Xbox button rapidly flashing like this. This flashing signifies that the controller is in pairing mode. Going into our Chromebook now, open up the notification bar, click on the Bluetooth settings icon, and then click on plus pair new device. Doing so should open up this Bluetooth pairing settings. Assuming you did the previous step correctly, Xbox wireless controller should come up on this list. Once it does, click on it and the Chromebook will attempt to pair it with the controller. If pairing is successful, you should get a small notification near the bottom of the screen that says Xbox wireless controller connected and the Xbox button on the controller should stop flashing. At this point, open up a controller compatible game and just see if the controller is working as it should. If it is, congrats. There is nothing more that you need to do and you can just enjoy the Xbox controller experience on your Chromebook. Now, if you went through the steps and got the Xbox wireless controller connected notification, but find that the Xbox button on the controller is still continuously flashing, then the process probably didn't work for you and you're probably having issues getting the Xbox controller buttons to get recognized in games. If that's you, then it's likely that you're running into an issue related to the firmware on your Xbox controller. It's actually a common issue that's been popping up with people who are trying to connect Xbox controllers to non-Xbox devices. Thankfully, the fix for this is fairly simple. You just have to plug your Xbox controller into a PC or an Xbox and update the firmware. In case you're interested, I'm gonna go through the firmware updating process using a Windows PC. Start by downloading the Xbox Accessories app from the Microsoft Store. Once it's been installed, connect the Xbox controller into the Windows computer through a USB cable. Then open the app. From there, the app should recognize the Xbox controller that is connected to the PC, and it should come up in the app like this. Click on the button with three dots that can be found below the configuration button. Once there, a button labeled Update Now should appear. Clicking on it will lead to a page warning us to not disconnect the controller while the app updates the controller's firmware. Then click on continue to start the firmware update and just let the app take care of the rest. The process does take a few minutes. And once it's done updating the firmware, this updated message appears with a lovely green check mark. And that's it as far as updating the firmware on your controller goes. Once the process is done, just disconnect the controller from your PC and go through the Bluetooth pairing process with your Chromebook again. Assuming you were just having the firmware related issue, your controller should now work with your Chromebook. Now the bad news with this firmware fix of course is that you need a PC or an Xbox to do it, meaning that if you only have a Chromebook and an Xbox controller, you're kind of out of luck. Having said that, this firmware issue only affects the Xbox controller's ability to connect to a Chromebook through Bluetooth. The controller will still work through a wired connection, meaning that if you can't update the firmware on your controller and are having this Bluetooth connection issue, then the workaround could very well be connecting the Xbox to your Chromebook through a USB cable. That's of course not the most desirable workaround for this issue. Like if you're trying to use the controller to play Android games on your Chromebook, you have to first give permission to let the controller access Android apps. You can do this through a notification that pops up when you connect the controller to your Chromebook, which feels like it's more of a hassle than it should be and it feels a little annoying that you have to do that, not to mention it's a little ridiculous to connect your wireless controller to your Chromebook through a wired connection. It's, yeah, it's, it's not perfect. It can be a little annoying, but it works. So that's how you can connect your Xbox controller to your Chromebook. Despite all the annoyances and potential difficulties with getting this thing to work with a Chromebook, I still consider the Xbox controller to be one of the best controllers to use with a Chromebook. I mean, from cloud gaming services to Android games that support controllers, the Xbox controller is just really well supported all around. Not to say that third-party controllers can't work for those use cases as well, but I have found that there are certain games that only support first party controllers like the Xbox controller. I believe Call of Duty Mobile was one of those games. So all in all, I consider the Xbox controller to be one of the best, if not just a solid controller to use with your Chromebook, if you can figure out all the weird annoyances that might be associated with connecting the controller to the Chromebook. Anyway, that's all from me. I hope you found this video helpful or informative in any way, shape or form. And if you did, I'd appreciate it if you gave this video a like. Thanks for watching.